Good evening and welcome to tonight's third and final commencement ceremony for Victor J. Andrew High School. Please help join me in a round of applause for these incredible, outstanding <laughs> graduates. Thank you, you may be seated. Today we are here to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2021 as they conclude their journey as high school students and look for a future of endless potential and opportunities. A journey that was an arguably the most daunting one in the history of Andrew High School. At this time, I would like our graduates, our staff and our guests to rise as Lindsay Casper, the graduating senior will lead us in our national anthem. Lita, uh, Lindsay, the microphone is yours. stripes and bright stars through the barrel spy or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming Thank you very much, Lindsay. Incredible job. You could all be seated now. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the esteemed guests joining us tonight. Due to the unusual format, we wish to recognize the school board members and district leadership who have joined our sister schools at their ceremonies. Joining the Stag Chargers are Vice President of School Board, Ms. Melissa Gracias, and member, Ms. Kate Murphy-Peterson, as well as Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Julia Whedon. Joining the Sandberg Eagles are members Mike Hardick, member Pat, uh, David O'Connor, and Assistant Superintendent Dr. Kim Dreyer. And joining us here on the stage tonight, our school board president, Mr. Tony Saratori. <laughs> school board secretary, Ms. Susan Dalton. School board member, Mr. Patrick O'Sullivan. And assistant superintendent, Mr. John Lavelle. Please also help me recognize the main office leadership team representing Andrew High School. Associate principals, Ms. Sabir Othman. And Mr. Brian Nolan. and Mr. Tim Dalton. A 
Although he spent most of his day so far at the other two buildings and speeding up and down LaGrange Avenue, we are also very proud to have our superintendent of schools, Dr. James Gay, join us for our final five o'clock ceremony tonight. Dr. Gay. You'll find out in a moment why Dr. Gay's here for our last ceremony. At this time, however, it is my uh, pleasure to introduce Student Council President, Ms. Erin George. <laughs> Senior Class President, Ms. Jan Janelle Rula. <laughs> and Student Keynote Speaker, Mr. Kellen Gallagher. <laughs> These three students have provided incredible leadership during this past year, and I credit all them all for living up to the characteristics we hold so dear. Their compassion, their creativity, and their focus on the future. At this time, it's my privilege to introduce our first speaker. This individual is not only our senior class president, she was involved in National Honor Society, as well as a variety show, and was a member of our Project Save, while enjoying every single dance and school event she could possibly attend. She plans to attend St. Louis University in the fall to study nursing, Janelle will continue with her passion for helping others as she continues on her way to becoming a neonatal nurse. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Janelle Rula. Thank you, Mr. Nolting. Good evening and thank you to the students, teachers, parents and staff who made these past four years everything that they were. I am this year's class president. I was originally elected as a senior class vice president, but if things weren't already crazy enough, Morrill was switched to president midway through the year. Ironically, the main reason I didn't want to run for president was because I didn't think I could be up here giving a graduation speech. So when I was told I'd be one of the speakers during graduation, I struggled to find the words to say as my final goodbye. The last thing I wanted was for the speech to be filled with a series of losses we experienced this year because Let's face it, a majority of our senior year was already focused on all of the last we never got. Somehow, we ended up as a student who experienced a once in a century pandemic during our final year as high schoolers. To say our senior year was abnormal is an understatement. But as we look back on the four, some might say two and a half years we have spent together. I hope you do not solely associate your experience with the year disrupted by a virus. I hope you do not let our circumstances overshadow everything that our class has accomplished both before and during the pandemic. From the percussion group and band consistently being world champion finalists, GI qualifying for state, girls volleyball finally beating Sandberg, win Palms winning nationals, to cheer being top 10 in the state for the first time in a decade. We left such a historical legacy in Andrew High School and got through situations that seemed insurmountable. So when it's finally time to switch those tassels from the right to the left, take a second to reflect on all of our unforgettable moments and be proud. After today, we will start to refer to high school as our past four years. In the millisecond it takes for something to change from present tense to past tense, I hope you all realize how important it is to appreciate every second and never take moments for granted. It sounds cliche, but they really were not lying when they said these four years would fly by. Each year, we anticipated inching closer and closer to being seniors, sitting front row in the student section, but in a blink of an eye, we went from freshmen freezing at the very top of the bleachers hearing, get to the back freshmen, to seniors sitting here, ready for this bittersweet goodbye. Though we skipped a step and never got a chance to experience being seniors standing against that fence telling freshmen to get to the back, we eventually made it right here, having a ceremony that most of us doubted we'd even be able to get. But no matter how ready we are to move on to this next chapter in our lives, I think we would all do anything for time to pause so that we can play one more game, perform one more time, and get one final moment together before we say goodbye. Whether we knew each other personally or we were just familiar faces who signed up for the same table time, I can't express how grateful I am to be graduating with you all. Though I never envisioned myself speaking up here today, this year has taught me that sometimes the most unexpected and even unwanted circumstances can lead to something great. This goodbye is not easy, but as a famous childhood cartoon character, Winnie the Pooh, once said, how lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. 
So from students to staff, thank you for being my reason why saying goodbye is so hard. Even though I say these 1,460 days of high school are the best four years of your life, I hope you make what's ahead of you even better. I cannot wait to see how you all conquer the world. Class of 2021, congratulations. We finally did it. Great job, Janelle. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. This year, our keynote speaker has prepared a speech that perfectly intersects the theme created last summer from our senior leaders. In fact, Kellen has been an instrumental member of that group throughout the past year. Our theme, When the Storm is Done, We Will Still Be One, is a perfect ode to VJA. We acknowledge the pandemic that impacted so many of our students, our staff, and our community was the most treacherous storm one could endure. But we at VJA will stand tall in the end. Our speaker has been a force, has been a force to be reckoned with on our stage as a key member of all VJA theater productions and serves as president of the Drama Club and as a member of group interpretation. He will be attending the University of Illinois in the fall to study graphic design. For those of you who know Kellen, it is no doubt he selected an ideal path to become a head creative director as he enters the real world. Please welcome today's keynote, Mr. Kellen Gallagher. Good evening to one third of the class of 2021. All friends and family invited today, teachers and staff alike, the ghosts of one Mr. Victor J. Andrew, and any other D230 someone's who are not a part of those groups. It's so good to see you all here today, since it's literally impossible for you to turn your cameras off. Looking at this crowd, it makes me feel comforted to see so many familiar face masks. I'm hoping that most of you remember me. None of you saw me physically in any class this year since I was a remote student, so it's very possible I haven't seen you since last March. If you do need a reintroduction or just a total first introduction, hello, I'm Kellen Gallagher and I'll be giving the keynote speech for the class of 2021. It feels especially lucky to be participating today in front of this semi-traditional ceremony because last year's class did not have such an opportunity. Thank you to everyone who made today possible. It means so much to the families of our class who were able to see us graduate. Hi, Grandpa. Looking out into the sea of black and gold, it's hard not to think, wow, we've all come so far. And dang, our school colors are dope. Now, I'd like to travel back to freshman year. The year was 2017. Despacito had just been released, and we were all freshly graduated middle school brats, feeling unprepared to be in the presence of anyone 16 or above. Who else remembers coming home from our first day of school, terrified of gym class, hopeful to make new friends, and ready to embark on a new beginning? You know how they always say, freshman year feels like yesterday. It's not just me who disagrees, right? Our whole lives have changed since freshman year. Four years ago, none of us knew each other. We hadn't gone through anything together. This was a time before I'd ever performed in a musical alongside Anthony Pappas, or sat in a gym class with Saja Kaleo, or went on a school trip with Emery Hemrick. These past four years have brought us experience. We've brought each other experiences. A quote by author Jandy Nelson states, Maybe we're accumulating these new selves all the time, hauling them in as we make choices, good and bad, as we screw up, step up, lose our minds, find our minds, fall apart, fall in love, as we grieve, grow, retreat from the world, dive into the world, as we make things, as we break things. Each new self standing on the last one's shoulders until we're these wobbly people poles. The majority here likely knows what the butterfly effect is. And for those who don't, it's best described as the idea that small events can have a large, unpredictable influence in the future. Like, who's to say if I had not sat next to Maria Pavoni on the bus, I'd be here today? Who's to say if you had not chosen to join student council, or quit V show, or play tennis, you'd be where you are today? Each one of us in the class of 2021 is made up of other people we have met here. There's a piece of each of you in me, and vice versa. All of those years spent together grinding into evil time, or waiting in line at the fountain, or at those epic pep rallies, was bonding us, leaving a mark on one another. You would not be who you are today without having each other. Whether you believe it or not, you have those to your left and right to thank. You have Andrew High School to thank. So be grateful for all the in-school friends, substitute teachers, and field trips. Because even if they were only prevalent in your subconscious, you needed those to grow from. 
Now, today may very well be the last time some of us see each other, which is weird, but expected. We all have a lot more growing to pursue and adventures to continue. Each person here is strong and ready enough to take the next step in life. Whether that be a decision to continue education in the college, take a break, or enlist, it's time, and we cannot be more prepared. I'd like to leave you with a few parting questions I was never able to get answered in my time attending Andrew High. Like, why is the S-Wing not just called the swing? And will we ever stop attending the Bosco Six or good? Also, why are we not just called the lightning bolts? Like seriously, what is a thunderbolt? Thank you so much for listening to me today. I am so grateful I was not interrupted by a crying baby. Thank you, Kellen. To share final thoughts for the class of 2021, I would like to welcome Aaron, excuse me, student council president, Aaron George. Aaron's energy and positivity has been the perfect type of leadership for our school this year. She has always put her classmates first and believes in the power of collaboration and inspiring others. In addition to her role in student council, she was an active member of the National Honor Society and senior leaders. Aaron will be attending Illinois State University in the fall to hopefully return to District 230 or some other lucky district as a high school social studies teacher. It is my honor and privilege to introduce Student Council President, Ms. Erin George. Good evening, everyone. My name is Erin George, and I am the Student Council President for the 2020-2021 school year. I would just like to thank the parents, siblings, grandparents, teachers, school board members, and honored guests for coming. We would not be here today without you all. Now, to the class of 2021. I must admit, it is very surreal looking out and seeing all of you in caps and gowns, considering some of us have gone through 12 straight years of school together. It feels like just yesterday, we had four years of high school in front of us, and now we are just left with a few minutes. A lot of us have dreamed of this moment and what it would look like. It might be a little bit different than what we pictured, but here we are on our home field celebrating this accomplishment together. At the beginning of this year, we did not think we would be having a ceremony like this at all. Referencing what Janelle said, I urge you all to look around, soak it in, and enjoy this moment. I am extremely proud of us as a class. We have overcome every obstacle and truly made a name for ourselves. Everyone felt bad for the class of 2021, including us. We did not believe we would have traditional end of the year celebrations, but we had all of that and more. We saw our situation and instead of feeling bad for ourselves, we focused on making the best ending possible. A few years ago, I stumbled across a poem that has stuck with me ever since. The main premise is how everyone should go about their experience with confidence and patience. The poem is If by Rudyard Kipling. The poem ends with this last sentence. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. I believe that these last lines of the poem relate to exactly what we did this year. The year that we endured was that unforgiving minute. We made the most of this year by filling every second with the distance run. Kipling believes that making each experience worth your while will give you the greatest level of satisfaction. This year has been brutally unforgiving, but we filled it with both new and traditional events, which came with memories that will last a lifetime. We have transcended the limits to make this year special, and it truly has been the earth and everything that's in it because of what we have done. I know that this year looked different than the one we had been envisioning. Even with the struggles and the loss, this year taught us that sometimes we have to adapt to the new normal in order to get the most out of new situations. The hardships of this year came with those amazing lessons that we will carry with us forever. I believe that the message Kipling wanted to leave with the readers of his poem is to make every experience worth your while and take advantage of every opportunity. And I, be and I believe that he would agree when I say we did just that. Throughout our four years, we have learned that things can definitely be taken away from us, 
but we have also learned many other valuable lessons that I hope you carry with you in your future. My challenge to you all during your next endeavors is to go to the events that you can, enjoy the people that you have around you, and most importantly, always be in the moment. Fill every second with the distance run and make the earth and everything that's in it yours. Congratulations, class of 2021. I wish you all the best of luck in your futures. Thank you. And to Aaron, thank you. Aaron, great job. I could not have chosen better words to share tonight. Your words today in leadership throughout the past four years will forever be remembered at VJA. Talk about continuing and working through. This is the type of work and commitment Aaron has had throughout the school year. So thank you. At this time, I ask the senior choir members to please proceed to the risers for tonight's performance. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mabir Othman, Associate Principal, and I wanted to introduce tonight's musical selection, which was selected by the Class of 2021 Choir. This song celebrates the persistence and dedication of the senior class. These past four years have been filled with triumphs and defeats, but through it all, this class has learned to believe in themselves and carry their heads high with T-Bolt pride. Today, we honor our graduates' accomplishments and send them into their next steps on life's journey. We hope that this class will have the strength and courage to continue to believe in themselves. This song is not only dedicated to our graduates, but to Dr. Nolting, as he takes his next step in his new journey as our new superintendent. This was the choral selection from his first Andrew graduation ceremony, and we wanted to perform it again today to honor him and his 12 years of inspiring service to our school and all he has taught us about the power in believing ourselves. At this time, I ask you to join me in a celebratory applause in recognition of Dr. Nolting's 12 years of commitment to our students, our community, and under his leadership, making us one of the top high schools, not only in Illinois, but in the country all over. Please, let's celebrate Dr. Nolting's last graduation ceremony and let him know how much we appreciated his years with us. Thank you. And now, for the final time, our senior choir members, joined by members of the combined Victor J. Andrew High School Choir, will perform Don't Stop Believing. Thank you. 
love that song. <laughs> so at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. James M. Gay to recognize our t bolts as now graduates. During his tenure as superintendent, Dr. James Gay's leadership has provided energy, focus, and direction for our district. As you know, Dr. Gay is retiring after a full and impactful career as an educator. Dr. Gay began his career at De La Salle High School as a history teacher and coach. For those who knew Coach Gay or Jimmy, will tell you he was a big brother and a mentor who changed the lives of all he touched. He continued on as the De La Salle principal at a very young age. He then arrived at Victor J. Andrew High School as an associate principal in the late 90s and assumed the role of building principal. Over his time, he continued to establish leadership based on compassion, relationships, and the collective capacity of all students. Dr. Gay helped co-create Project Diversity, one of the first school organizations of its kind in our area, to celebrate and bring people together. He also hired a pretty good future principal of District 230. <laughs> My opinion matters. As he is, <laughs> right, yes, Miss Alpin, yes, that, that's, yeah, right. Yeah, open the door to that one. Um, he assumed the role of superintendent 15 years ago, and he has continued to build a legacy of compassion for us all to live by. Most, uh, excuse me, most, you know, most importantly, every superintendent, school leader, and elected official not only know Jim Gay, but say his name with the utmost respect and admiration, including me. At this time, please welcome the superintendent of Consolidated School District 230, Dr. James Gay. Thank you and good evening. First of all, congratulations, class of 2021. As we celebrate you today, I am so excited to be with you to celebrate in person. As with anything in this pandemic year, we had to adjust our transitions and readjust them to accommodate the needs of the situation we find ourselves in. So as I said earlier today, I traveled along the Grange Road, started my day at Stag High School for their ceremony, then Sandberg. It was very, very important for me to come here to Andrew High School attend my career here at District 230 at a place I've always called home. So I guess we've all had to learn our lessons over the year and pivot as circumstance, circumstances required. I have the distinct pleasure of working with our students, staff, parents, and community in preparing you not only for graduation today, but more importantly, what lies ahead of you. As soon to be alumni of Andrew High School, there is a whole world of possibilities ahead of you. And as I prepare to retire soon, I consider myself an honorary member of the class of 2021 and could not have imagined just how different our final year would be. As we celebrate graduation, there certainly is not how any of us imagine your senior year would conclude. While much of this year was different, I've seen a grit and, resi and a resilience in you that will serve you well in the future. And our hearts go out to you and your families as many of the traditional milestones celebrated have needed to be modified based on the COVID-19 pandemic. Yet, as Andrew High School and a school district, we have remained steadfast in our commitment to making the culmination of your senior year meaningful and respectful of all that you've accomplished in your four short years here at Andrew. I spent the past 37 years in high school. And yes, I'm finally graduating after 37 years. And in those years, I've learned some valuable lessons that I hope I have imparted to students, staff, families, and the community. Lessons that will serve us all well as we turn the pages on our life stories. Each of us has a story to tell. We celebrate those, those stories with rich, diverse, and uniquely District 230 story that they've come together to create. As you graduate today, you will forever be part of the Andrew High School story. The D230 story continues with your very own principal, Dr. Robert Nolte, leading the district 
As our next superintendent, I cannot be more proud, and I know the district's gonna do amazing as Dr. Nolting is the leader of District 230 in the future. I'd be remiss if I didn't also congratulate the next principal of Andrew High School, Abir Othman, who will bring the experience she lived as a parent of D230 graduates, as an administrator here at Andrew and Stagg, and she helps write the next chapter of our T-Bolt story. Congratulations, Ms. Othman. But today, we celebrate the first chapters of your life story. We celebrate individual triumphs and challenges, stories of passion for learning, kindness, integrity, and grit that have made you who you are today. Stories of friendships forged through classes and study groups, co-curricular activities, and most importantly, the love of your fellow classmates. The next chapters will take some of you to college or to enter the work world. Some of you will be joining the military, and I salute your noble commitment and thank you for your service to our country. My hope is that each of your stories are grounded in love, compassion, and caring for those who surround us in life. Each of us has drawn strength and resilience from family, friends, teachers, staff, and community. And we have served as a strength giver for those we love. My hope is that your story, no matter where it leads you, is a story of love. Be kind to others. Value others for the gifts they bring to life. Treat others with compassion and give them grace in the moments when they may falter. And more importantly, do the same for yourselves. If we truly love each other and love ourselves, our story will be brighter that much more enjoyable, that much more worth celebrating. As you reflect on your high school years, I hope you take pride in the stories that connect you to your school community. And as you look towards your future, hope that you'll take three key values with you as you write your next chapters. Your unique voice, the courage to take risks, and a shared responsibility to be kind. First, You've begun to develop your voice in the four short years you spent in high school. You've begun to find your place in the world and you will continue to evolve that understanding in the coming years. Your experiences, your values, your identity are distinctive to you. Your unique voice is important in this world. Don't be afraid to express yourself and share what makes you uniquely you. Second, find the courage to take risks. When you believe in something passionately, be willing to take a chance at making your dreams a reality. I encourage you to, to take a chance to speak up for what you believe in and have faith in yourself. And finally, be kind. Always, always be kind. Your thoughtfulness in the big and little things makes a difference. A simple act of kindness can make the day better for others and for yourself. Always treat others with empathy and respect and the world will be a brighter place because of you. My hope is that you will take these words of advice and all the lessons you've learned with you as you write the rest of your story. I firmly believe that you are ready for whatever path you choose following graduation. Your family, friends, school staff, and community have invested in your future through the education you received here in District 230. So please, take a few minutes to thank them for their love, and their support, and the commitment they've made to your success. So today, tell them in person. If they're not here, pick up a phone and call them, or even share your appreciation through social media, because we all know we can use more positive messages there. But as in any good story, I know there's anticipation of what the pages ahead will bring. I am sure you have mixed emotions as you look toward the future. There's excitement as you conclude your high school years here and reflect on the stories you have created. There is uncertainty as you turn the page at the next chapter not knowing exactly what is to come. And there is anticipation as you take on new challenges and create your story. But I can assure you that your education at Andrew High School has prepared you well. You 
have put in the hard work and learned incredible lessons along the way. You've found great success. You've learned from your mistakes. You are prepared to write the story in the future of your possibilities. So wherever your story leads, we know you will make us proud as Andrew High School graduates. Congratulations, t -Bolts. I got to do this right now. Prefer. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. So for my last time as superintendent of District 230, I proudly share that it is now time to confer to the Board of Education that these students have successfully met the Consolidated High School District 230 requirements for graduation and that they comply with the regulations and laws required by the state of Illinois. At this time, I present the members of the Andrew High School Class of 2021 to be awarded their diplomas. All right, T Bolts, we are about to honor you and give you your diploma. You have two choices to make as you enter the stage. Choice number one, when you get to the base of the stage and hand your card over to whoever's gonna read your name, you can opt to take off your mask so that you walk off the, over the stage unmasked. If you do not choose to do that, that's fine too. You'll also have a second choice, whether you use to shake my hand, give me knuckles, give me a air high five or whatever you'd like to do, but that is your choice as well and I will respect that either way. So at this time, if I get our first row to start making their way up and we will be calling out your names. Aaron George. Kellen Francis Gallagher. Janelle Rula. Carmani, Carmandi Abanis. Jenna Abdallah. Lemma Abdel Hamid. Lamis Hamdi Abdel Karar. Jenna Abed. Dana Abu Hamdo. Kevin Angelo Aguilar. Aya Ahmad. Dania Ahmad. Hadia Sayed Alam. Mohammed Zayed Ali. Sabrine Ali. Reem Al Khattab. Mohammed Alkam. Yeah. Heba Al Sheikh. Ahmad Mustafa Al Sheikh. Ahmad Al Shawabi. Jose Alfonso Gra Ormanto. Eric Matthew Arroyo. Sophia Ashore. Louie Ascar. Amira Atia. 
Jamila Aish. Komi Andres Baku. Nicholas A. Balderas. Isabella Josephine Beagle. Brooke Elizabeth Borovic. Michael Joseph Bobber. Nicole Monica Bobek. Aiden Brezzanelli. Kaylee M. Butler. Kelsey Rita Butler. Gavin Joseph Callahan. Alexander Angelo Cardella. Erica Candice Chapin. Nico Christopher Consolo. Gianna Lynn Cordelloni. Samantha Costella. Edward J. Cozy. Kevin Cronk. Emily Kulik. Nicholas Richard Kunico. Janine Dana. Franklin Davio. Julia Elizabeth Drain. Drew David Erickson. Sarah Kylie Estrada. Declan R. Farley. Jonah Kelly Farah. Connor Alois Fox. Christian Girk. Kayla Rose Gonzalez. Ava Grace Gordon. Samantha Gintunis. Donald Gravinger. Dominic Anthony Gracia. Stephen Robert Guzik. Marissa Rose Guzzi. Leif Ray Hamad. Mahmoud Basel Hamad. Noreen Hamad. Yazin Hamdan. Amir Abdel Fattah Hamad. Oday Abdel Fattah Hamad. Nicholas C. Hansen. Dina Harb. Madison Sarah Hartman. Nathan P. Haney. Aya Hazuma. Ryan James Healy. Emmy M. Hammerick. Savannah Hoban. Ethan T. Hyde. Farah Ibrahim. Alexis Elizabeth Inslee. Rania Jaber. 
Frederick Robert Jacoby III. Owen E. Jaworski. Jack Russell Jensen. Hannah R. Johnson. Mohammed R. Kanan. Lindsay Carol Casper. Joshua Jeremiah Kendall. Walid Khalaf. Saja Khalil. Caitlin L. Knapp. Joseph Kowalczyk. Julian Marcus Kuspa. Amaya Jordan Lacey. Colin Landers. Madison Michelle LaSouza. Dania Latif. Noor Latif. Nathaniel Lauk. Paige Leslie. Timothy D. Lewis. Ethan Thomas Liska. Alexis M. Lloyd. Madeline F. Lloyd. Elizabeth Ashley Loeb. Kevin Lucos. Ennis Martinez. Gabriel Paolo Mayuga. Aiden Patrick Maza. Molly Elizabeth McCarthy. Anna Neveline McDonald. Morgan McDowell. Ava Catherine McGrath. Alexander James McLaughlin. Jaleel Omari McLaughlin. Kayla Marie Mikow. Laurel Noel Miskovic. Uh, Brianna E. Mon Monaco. Grace Montalbano. Jack David Mori. Matthew James Murray. Natalie Christine Nigosin. Daniel Victor Nikolic. Muhammad Ali Othman. Julian Paula. Gianna Marie Palumbo. Anthony K. Pappas. Siddy Patel. Cole Perosi. John Petzl. Brendan James Prankus. Isra Kasim. Sarah M. Craney. Robert A. Radens. Bridget May Rates. Fadi N. Ramsey. Mia Rosselli. Marissa 
Richards. Natalie Richards. Jason Stephen Richmond. Madison Elise Rudy. Dylan William Rudolph. Lemma Sade. Rishna Rana Ralph. Shadden Sunday. Tala Safi. Adam M. Salem. Hannah Samara. Ava Lily Schultz. Mary Grace Scott. Theodore George Siner III. Natasha Marie Seminate. Omar B. Shaibi. Cortland Michael Shanley. Isaac Shata. Emma Siegel. Ethan Lucas D. Sim. Nicole Scovra. Ashanti Marie Smith. Luke Jarrett Snedden. Carleen Elizabeth Sunnefeld. Evan Patrick Stanton. Jacob M. Stevens. Kirsten Lynn Stecker. Victoria Eleni Stratton. Haley Lynn Subka. Joseph Zayed Suisse. Yusuf Swice. Michael A. Suisse. Isabella Marie Talti. Hamza Tamimi. Jake Edward Tenquillet. Jacob Matthew Coach. Jeremy Olsegray. Isabel Rose Vaccaro. Caitlin Grace Wall. Hannah L. Weeks. Amanda Rose Welch. Adam S. Winnestorfer. George J. Winnestorfer. Jacob Charles Worcester. Dana Yassen. Ramsey Yassin. Kylie A. Yerkes. Leo Edward Zagorski. Anas Case Asa. Please join me in one last resounding applause for the class of 2021.
Oh, no. Yeah, I'm just grabbing one. So typically, um, I try to make the end of the graduation ceremony, the, the words that I choose to use, I try to make them as brief as possible. But uh, if you haven't heard three or four or five times throughout this um, ceremony tonight, um, this is my last ceremony as your principal. <clears throat> Almost got sunscreen in my eyes. <laughs> Um, so I've been here throughout your four years. I've been here the three years you've been in middle school. I've been here the entire five years you were in elementary school. When you left kindergarten, you were the class of 2021, and I was establishing my Twitter fame with the hashtag rnolting21. So I'm guessing this was meant to be. There's two things that I wanna leave you with. I, I, I had to narrow them down because frankly, when I think in my head what would be the last thing I want to say to people I care deeply about, um, there's too many on the list. So I'm going to say two, but I probably mean about five or six more. The first one, and I mean this sincerely, <clears throat> when you leave here tonight, follow your dreams. Determine what your passion is and let nobody take you away from it. Your passion will make sure every single day for the rest of your life means something to you. Trust me, years ago, I didn't know my passion when I was sitting in the chair that you were sitting. I figured it out a few years after that, and I disappointed some folks, and I confused others, but the day that I decided what I was going to do for the rest of my life was the best first day I've ever had in my life. So do what makes your heart whole, and never question it, and never let others question it too. The second thing, <clears throat> so this has been on my, above my computer screen for the entire time I've been principal here. And I printed it out because I wanted to remind myself every single day of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. <clears throat> Here's it, it goes like this. As I stumble through life, help me to create more laughter than tears, dispense more cheer than gloom, spread more happiness than despair, Never let me become so indifferent that I fail to see the wonders in the eyes of a child or the twinkle in the eyes of others. Never let me forget that my total effort is to cheer people, to make them happy, and forget momentarily if all the unpleasantness in their life. To you all, I hope I've had the opportunity to make you smile once or twice or even laugh. I hope I made you feel welcome. I hope you. I made you feel important. <clears throat> I hope that I made you feel that tomorrow is something to look forward to. If I didn't do any of those for you, I definitely wish I tried harder and know that I always wanted to. It took me a long time to know really and truly what the word unconditional meant. When I came to Andrew, I discovered what it meant. I cared for you unconditionally and you treated me in the way that I was proud to be treated. And I thank you all for that. I can never, ever repay you for that. So at this time, I do ask that Aaron, Janelle, and Kellen please come to the podium. <clears throat> this is the time in which we lead you in the final, uh, final and timeless graduation transition. Two notes before we do so. One, after this event, you will be uh, hearing a song that was created by one of our very own, a future star, Ashley Casalino. Her song, Graduate, which was written, produced, and sang by her, is not only beautiful and meaningful, it is about you. Actually, I just found out that Ashley's already released this, so I need to get onto my Spotify account and download her song, and you can as well. I also, and this is actually not just about tonight, but it's about the past almost nine years that one person has been um, by my side and, and in front of me and behind me and, and, and everywhere in between, and that's Mary Bray. I know Mary would kill me by saying this out loud. I believe she's all the way back at the concession stand area. Mary Bray is the absolute backbone of Victor J. Andrew High School, and she put together 99.9% .9 of tonight's event. So thank you, Mary.
All right, T-Bolt, stand up. Time has come. As you follow the lead of those on stage, move your tassels, please, from the right to the left, symbolizing your transition from student to alumni. In the words that you've wanted to hear probably for the last hour, at this time, it is my honor to say to the class of 2021, my best on your bright future, and you are now officially dismissed.